In 1924, 41 Milford miners lost their lives in one of the worst mining disasters in Minnesota history. Only seven miners survived the accident. The Crow Wing County Natural Resource Advisory Committee toured the newly renovated Milford Mine Memorial Park. Our Logan Gay has more. The Crow Wing County Natural Resource Advisory Committee took members of the community on a tour of the newest features at the Milford Mine Memorial Park. The committee started working on phase one of the project in 2010. Wednesday, they celebrated completing phase three of the project, which included the opening of a new bridge. The completion of, of phase three, which is getting people across the fabulous boardwalk, uh, getting them to the actual mine site where there's the, mine, the main mine shaft, the timber shaft. Among the tour were relatives of miners who used to work in the mine. Did your dad used to work in the mine? Oh yeah, he was the first one out of the mine when it did that. Did. So seven of them come out, so he was one of the seven. When I'm walking here, this is sacred ground because I said my father's footprints are all over here. And one of the newest features in the park are these individual plaques that tell the history of each miner that was lost in the mine. There's what we call a memorial wall walk. There's a memorial wall and then there's a walkway that gives you good elevation above Milford Lake where we identify the miners, their families, uh, and a little biography of each of the miners that were lost in the, in the disaster. The Natural Resource Committee is hoping that the newly renovated park will be a place for families to come and enjoy recreation activities and reflect on the history of the community. Well, you know, I hope the school children come out here because there's so much history and there's so many things to see. And as I think Cuyuna is reinventing itself with the bike trails and now this wonderful memorial. In Woodford Township, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The Crow Wing County Natural Resource Advisory Committee is currently planning additional work to the park, such as bathroom facilities and a canoe launching platform. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.